G'day, it's Suzanne from Suzanne Scarrow Live. So there's so much going on, isn't there? I made the mistake of watching a movie last night which was all about an accidental bombing of a school in World War II. And then today I turn on the news and there's the bombing in, um, in Ukraine with such similar images that I thought I was watching the movie again shocking and distressing and horrible and that kind of thing I have found and I'm sure this happens for you as well can really stress you out but perhaps there's something else going on for you that's stressing you out so what I want you to do is just identify the thing whatever it is with me right now if you can take it as a moment in time you'll get the best result and then I want you to tap along with me and let's clear some of this stress and overwhelm so that you're not impacted by it quite so much. It's not to say that this, the stress and overwhelm won't be there. It's just taking off the edge so that you can get on with your life and not be in that state of overwhelm, which makes you just frozen. Okay, so you've got an event, a moment in time, Give it a score out of 10 for how distressing it is, how stressed you felt, for how overwhelmed you felt. So I might give that moment when I saw those images on the news this morning a 9 out of 10 because it was pretty awful. And then I want you to tap on the karate chop side of your hand. doesn't matter which hand you use. I tap with my right hand because I'm right-handed. You can tap with either or both. You can do it this way. Tap on that karate chop part of your hand and say, even though I feel, and put in your words, I feel so overwhelmed about whatever it is, I choose to accept myself anyway. Even though I feel so stressed and overwhelmed about, I choose to accept myself anyway. Even though I feel so stressed and overwhelmed about, insert your words, I choose to accept myself anyway. And then come here to the crown, so stressed and overwhelmed, to the eyebrow, doesn't matter which side, so stressed and overwhelmed. Outside corner of the eye, so stressed and overwhelmed under eye, so stressed and overwhelmed, or whatever your words are, you, you put your own words in there, under nose, so stressed and overwhelmed, under lip in the dip in your chin, so stressed and overwhelmed, and a collarbone point, so stressed and overwhelmed, under arm, this is about that far under your armpit, so stressed and overwhelmed. On the wrist, it's about three, three fingers back from where your hand joins on, down the centre line of your wrist, so stressed and overwhelmed. The side of your hand or the karate chop, so stressed and overwhelmed, remembering to use your words and crown so stressed and overwhelmed and then take a big breath maybe a couple of big breaths actually especially if it's really overwhelming and then just look at the moment in time that you're working on and see what number it is out of 10 10 being the worst zero being no impact at all so for example if i started at a nine i'm probably down to about a seven now it's still distressing and so, on the karate chop, even though it's still distressing and I have no power to fix it, in my case, I'm not sure whether you do, I choose to accept myself anyway. Even though it's still really distressing and it feels like I have no power to change it, I choose to accept myself anyway even though it's still really distressing. I choose to accept myself anyway.
then come to the crown. It's still distressing. Again, use your words. It's still overwhelming. Outside corner of your eye, still distressing. Under eye, it's still overwhelming. Under nose, it's still distressing. Under lip, it's still overwhelming. Collarbone, it feels like I have no power to change it. Under arm, it's still distressing. On the wrist, it's still distressing. Karate, it's still overwhelming. Crown, and I have no power to change it. And then take a big breath. Blow out that breath. And then look at your thing again. Just that moment in time. The more specific you are with these things, the more effective the clearing will be. But the good news is once it clears, it's gone. And you can't have it back. And I'm sure that's not a problem to you. So as you look at it now, what number out of 10 are you giving that distress? As I look at mine, it's still maybe a 4 out of 10. And so the idea is you would keep going until you're just not feeling it anymore. Some people describe that feeling as though it's detached, as though it's a movie that you're not in anymore as though it's just let go. There's no kind of emotion holding you stuck to that memory. So keep going until you get it to zero out of 10 though, because if you've got 10 things like that and it's and you get them all down to a one or a two, you've still got quite a bit of distress left in your energy field and you don't want that. You wanna clear it completely. So keep tapping. I'll let you go now and we'll um, come back and do some more tapping another time, but just keep tapping until you get that distress feeling down. It doesn't matter what the reason is for the distress. You can choose anything that's causing you distress. It might be, you know, whatever. It could be the food you ate for lunch or it could be, you know, something as big as what I talked about earlier. But whatever it is that's bothering you, don't feel like you've got to hold that stress and carry it around with you. You can be free of it using this technique. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon.